Welcome to Learn the Sword. Many students have asked that, what is the best way to do sorting when your eyes are bad? As a general rule, when people get older, such as myself, we start needing glasses. Even though we could see birds on top of the mountain 20, 30 years ago, now it's hard to even see the mountain at times. What I'd like you to understand is that most Japanese people that practice Japanese swordsmanship have been practicing it since they were this big, started with kendo, went with wood, then went in the middle, a lot of them. So what I'd like you to understand is they have a whole head start on us. As practitioners ourselves now, we're probably at an age where we just started a month ago or a year ago or maybe 10 years ago. But nevertheless, we don't have that history like a young Japanese kid would growing up with the art. Therefore, our patterns are a little different. They're not as perfect because from the time you're born, you know where your parameters are. So if someone in Japan, in Kendo, was to start here in a, a traditional position and cut down here, or from here to bring over here, the patterns on the movements are all the same. So they don't overswing. Whereas we, as foreigners who don't have our rope memory set in well enough is when we swing really hard and fast or if we're sparring, we always have a tendency to overswing and throw it in there because we're pulling the trigger on the rifle instead of squeezing the trigger if we were dealing with firearms. You need to learn how to cast this sword out a little bit different, find your parameters, where it starts, where it stops, where to put in everything. And then that way you're able to move in and out. But you say to yourself, what does it have to do with wearing glasses? Well, a lot of the times people have to see what they're hitting. As a general rule, people who wear glasses, if they get in the fight or their contacts, that's the first thing to go their eyesight. That means that the best way to study the sword is not wear glasses at all, especially when you're doing your basic eight pattern cuts and you're finding your parameters to set in your rote memory. Makes it easy that way, but it takes a long time. What I'd like you to do is lift up the swords like this and start finding these areas. But the hard part is, is that you might not be able to see anything. Well, remember, when you start practicing without glasses and you need them, you can't see the target too much. Camera over there is a little blurry, I can honestly say. But I squint down a little bit, it's called Yama o Miru, looking at the mountain. So say you're way over at the, 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 we'll say the desert and you're looking off into the distance and you see the mountains and you slightly squint to get a little bit better look, that's what that is. When you put that in conjunction with the sword to Yama o Miru, that helps you focus down into a grayscale and center mass. So instead of having my eyes open and looking at my opponent and saying, yeah, he has red hair and he has fresh and he's wearing a ring and he has a tattoo and his foot's over here and I see everything perfectly, then that's too much detail. But if I squint down, focus and drill my eyes through the back of his head and look into it, now I see sort of a gray thing and I just stay center mass. So instead of beating around the bush, I go straight for the neck and the heart and with only one strong technique, basically it's done. But if you start beating around the bush, it might take five or six techniques. Learn to go in for the point, the shot, or the kill immediately.